Hi everybody, Jody Rosick here with Netcode's Jamie Pisa with the Winter Lady Warriors. Hello, Jamie. Hey. How are you? Doing pretty good. Should be. It's been a great week. It's been a great week. We were talking off air, seven games in eight days. That's a busy schedule. Yep, it was quite busy. The impressive thing, we only lost four sets in an entire <laughs> week. That's awesome. <laughs> then you go to the SES game and pool play. You take care of business. Um, we have Platt first, um, Geddes. Didn't really know what to expect about them. You know, I'd been doing research and heard some things about them. The biggest thing with them is they're really young, so you never know what you're going to get with a young team. You know, sometimes young teams can come out and just play out of their minds. Sometimes they can play scared. So, you know, um, Jill's a great coach. I knew she would have them fired up. Uh, they did a, I thought a, a nice job against us. Like I said, they start quite a few fresh, er, freshmen and eighth graders. Um, they have a decent middle blocker who's a little eighth grader and hitter, and um, Candace. yeah, and uh, we uh, I thought did a nice job of just coming out being pretty consistent. Um, we let down a little bit, but not 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 too bad actually in that one. Um, then we had Gregory next. Uh, you know, you never know how that can go, especially after you play him earlier in the, in the year. You know, I think we played him early October. I think it was one of the first. Uh, or October, one of the first uh, matches we had, and we pretty much dominated. So then, you know, you have to make sure the girls are ready. That that might not happen again. You know, I mean, we got to show up and play. And I thought they did a good job. You know, they were missing a few of their players, but um, I, you know, we came out, played consistent, just dominated, and then got into the championship pool like we were hoping to get into. And there, when you finally get to pool play, there's a surprise waiting. Parkston. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Parkston and Wagner, but talk about that Parkston team and how do you get your girls ready for an opponent you're not expecting? Yeah, I had to go and do a little research on them before we played them. You know, of course, you don't, you get to see them, but not really. We're playing at the same time I am, or they are, so I'm kind of looking over and trying to figure out what they're doing and whatever and, and all that. And uh, especially when I saw that, you know, they took the first set from Burke, then I was really kind of being like, oh, Really thought Burke would come back, so then I still didn't really pay a whole lot of attention because, of course, we're playing and I got to concentrate on what taking care of business on our side first before I got to worry about who we're playing in the championship pool. So um, afterwards, I was running around talking to some other coaches, trying to figure out what they did, who they have, who we have to stop, who we have to get blocks up, you know, who we can serve at, just different things. So um, <clears throat> that was that was unexpected. Um, <laughs> You know, I thought they came out and played. They, Parkston and Wagner played first. We were off, so then you, I got to see them a little bit more. I thought they looked, you know, pretty good against Wagner. They gave them a run, um, especially that, that second set. Um, but they really gave them a run, and they were scrappy all over the place. And then I think they just mentally kind of fell down a little bit when they played us. Um, either that or we just kind of controlled the game. I don't know. But um, it just seemed like they kind of were a different team. They kind of just mentally had kind of drained out, you know, especially playing a big match, big match against Burke, then moving on to Wagner, and then moving on to us. So, um, But we pretty much did a nice job of attacking the ball. We didn't let them attack the ball. Um, we just kind of handled things, you know. Um, I think Parkston is also in that region that stacked, um, and they're sitting, you know, I think they're maybe a 500 team. But... You know, they're, they're really not a bad team, you know, and I think when you, you can, they're either on or off. Um, and like I said, they uh, they have some big hitters. They got some big blockers that can really make uh, a difference and a force in that front row. And I really saw that's kind of what they did with Burke. They just shut down Indahl and, and it just kind of fell apart from there for Burke. But, um, yeah, so that was really unexpected. We were not really expecting to see them, but it is what it is, and we – had who we had and had to take care of business no matter who we saw in the championship pool. Next game, the rematch. And you knew you were going to get their best shot. Yep. The Wagner Lady Red Raiders. Talk about that match. <clears throat> Specifically, I want to get dive in with you to set two when you're down 6.7 points. Take that time out. Yeah, time. you know, S or Wagner's won it, I think it's 11 or 12 years. We've only been in it a few. I think this we figured out this is our fourth or fifth year that we've been in it. But 
Wagner was on, was on a roll. Like I said, this was, I think we we calculated their 12th win, or would be. They won 11. We just kept saying we're not going to let them win at 12. We knew they were going to want revenge from Tuesday. Um, another thing that scared, not really scared me, but sometimes, you know, it might take us a little while to get going and only playing two out of three, you know, only going three, like I said, if that would have happened on Tuesday, they would have won. You know, they won, we won, they won, we won, they won. So I said that that can't happen. You know, we've got to start from the beginning. <clears throat> Battled in that first one. They ended up taking set one. Um, 25 23. Yeah, it, it was Great close, <laughs> you know. Um, then set two, we just came out, and I don't, it just kind of, it seemed, I wouldn't say dead, but it just seemed things weren't going our way. Everything was going their way. Everything was going their way. You know, Brunzing was doing an amazing job of attacking the ball. We were having a hard time stopping her all over again. Dvorak's in the action. Yep, Dvorak's. <laughs> I mean, like, they were just coming at us at all angles, and it, it really looked like, but we weren't gonna win. They were gonna. We were gonna give them their twelfth um, SESD championship. And at twenty to thirteen, you take a timeout. I take a timeout. Um, adjusted a few things. Um, had to try anything just to win. I was like, well, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna throw everything we got at them. You know, I changed a few people just to see if it would work. Not saying you know the other ones weren't, but I just we had to make, we had to make an adjustment to to try or we were definitely going to lose. And then after that timeout, it just seemed like everything turned and everything went our <laughs> way. We were getting touches on Brunzing. We were getting touches all over the net. They couldn't stop us from hitting. And then we just went one point at a time. And then before you know it, we were we were tied again. Um, and then uh, just kept going from there. And I think it ended up 24-26. I think when it was all said and done with us getting the win, and then I was a little worried starting set three, you know, we just came off a big win that we were going to fall quickly and they were going to take over the momentum. But that never happened after I think we came back at and set so two, good. they just, that lost all their sales. They were, they were done. And then they couldn't do anything. They were all over the place, just couldn't then. They were kind of bickering at each other a little bit. And, and Coach Tyler takes two quick timeouts. Yep, you right get, away. You get out to an 8-2 lead. Yep, and you're going 25. Right. You know, we're not going 15. And in a tournament, you know, two out of three, you go you go 25. So you're not going to 15. And that scared me a little bit, you know, also. Especially when we got up. And I kept saying, they're going to come charging back. We did it to them. You know, let's, let's be ready. She took two bing-bing timeouts. And that worked for her when we were in Wagner because she seemed to get three or four points off of us after a timeout. And we kept talking about that and stayed focused. And, you know, then they kind of just started falling apart. And she was trying to sub to make some something happen to try to get back in. But, uh, yeah, that one wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I thought it would be close. Yeah. But, you know, they just, the way it is, they kind of fell apart. And, it was a good win for us, and first time we've won the SESD, so that was good, and we got the points, so that's what that's what we all wanted. So now after playing seven games in eight days, you're going to get an eight-day break. Is it going to be eight days before we play? Yeah, about that, yeah. About that. Yep. Next action is going to be region play. What do you do now uh, to keep this team on that high note that you're on? Um, you know, same as last year. Um, we've kind of done the same things. Um, we always play a game, um, you know, mat ball, kickball, you know, hockey, kind of whatever. So we did that Tuesday after Platt, um, just because we have such a long time and they keep begging to play and we play once, once a year. So that was kind of fun. They, you know, little competitiveness against each other or maybe a lot, I don't know, but, um, it was fun and it was, you know, a lot of they were sore a little bit today <laughs> from playing hockey and running all over the place, which is good cardio, you know, keeping them in shape and stuff like that. But um, so that was kind of fun, just kind of relax a little bit, not necessarily really want to take the day off, but want to get in there, gel together as a team, do some little things, bonding stuff, some fun stuff. So, you know, we played a game um, then we went back hard at it at practice today. Um, we'll go back hard at it tomorrow. Um, you know, 
Friday's up in the air. I said if they have two really good practices, we might take Friday off. Um, since then, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of also next week. Um, but we worked hard on some things, um, so we'll see about Friday how it goes. But um, we're throwing a couple team meals in there um, just to do some more more bonding. Um, you know, it's quite a bit different now that we're down to one net because it's just a varsity. So um, we can do a lot more. It seems like work a lot more things, um, more one-on-one, -on -one, more little things that we needed to shake up a little bit or, you know, kind of adjust or, you know, things like that or work on our hitting. And, you know, especially if we hit another big blocker, we've been working, you know, Cal and moving around and, you know, maybe coming from the other side, things like that. So that's been what kind of we want to work on and we can work on a lot today and hopefully get some of that taken care of tomorrow. So it's one of those fun time of year that you just, you, you, earned, it. you earned it, you're ready. I jumped ahead, I'm going to jump back. You have to go on the road to Platt after a big SESD tournament, and you've got that young team. Your team came out and took care of business right away. Talk about that game. You know, we talked about that. The, uh, the atmosphere there was kind of dead. Um, our, we had a big student session that actually came, and they were really hooping and hollering, so that kind of made it a, a little bit better. But, um, yeah, you know, you just play them Saturday. Um, you know, we talked about you've still got to stay focused. They're not going to just say, oh, they beat us Saturday. They're not going to, you know, we've done it a few times this year. We had to do it with Mobridge earlier, you know, and that. Um, so we stayed focused a um, little bit. We lost a little focus on the third. I wanted to get everybody in um, just because it's, you know, the last regular season game. And, you know, so that was good that we got everybody in and, you know, took care of business there. But, yeah, they're a young Team, they're gonna uh, they're gonna be good here in a few years. Um, Got you worried? Uh, not yet, not but yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Take one year at a time, I guess. But like I said, they have some. They just made you could tell those young those young heirs against us, and you know then when we got on a roll, they just couldn't stop. But like I said, they're gonna be good here in a few years. So. You did what you were supposed to do. Yeah, we came in and finished her out, and that's what we wanted to do, and move on. And then we were watching games on the way home that would affect us and cheering for some teams that were... What games were you watching? <laughs> well, we watched a little bit of Wagner and Burke. Okay. And one one, one gr couple girls were watching that. A couple of us were watching Gregory and ACDC because that could have dropped us down from 47 to 44. And then uh, Chamberlain could have could also dropped us from 47 to 44. <laughs> Kimball could have also dropped us from 47 to... 44. So everybody in the bus was keeping an eye on all those, and we had those all watching, and we were trying to hoop and holler for do the you ones that we 10 wanted. years ago, you had to wait and get home and watch the Yeah, news. yeah. Now you don't have to do that anymore, so that's kind of nice. So um, things pretty much went our way, so that was good to see because we could have really dropped those points, especially playing Chamberlain twice, especially playing Gregory twice. Um, that would have really dropped us 47 four times down to 44. So it might have took a little hit on us, but never happened. So now we don't have to worry about that. But like I said, we can only control what we can control. And things luckily worked out in our favor for those. The end result, the end of Tuesday night, you're the number five seed. You not only got to 43, which was your first goal, you got to 44. You were at 44, not 5, 9, 3, and you finished at 44, 4, 6, 4, the five seed. How good does that feel? That feels good, you know, especially when a few weeks ago we were just at 41, you know. That's good to see. You know, we knew we had a lot of big matches coming up at the end that we really had to take care of what we can take care of and, and get those points and get those wins. You know, we knew with Wagner twice we were hoping Burke was going to be in there, um, you know, with the SESD. So, you know, those, those ones we knew we had big points coming up. We just had to go out and earn them and win it and, and get those points. Can I ask you a question see if you know the answer to this? No, sir. <clears throat> What's your longest win streak ever? You're at 15 now. Is that, Is that it? Were they at 15? 15 in a row. Um, you know, I was actually counting just the other day because I had to turn in if we had 20 in a row, which I knew we had, had I'd never had 20 um, throughout my career. I knew we had gotten close in 13. And um, you're at 16. 
when we were at 16. Um, I, uh, I knew we had gotten close in 13, um, and there was another year in there that we were, I had about, I think 2010, that I think we had about 16, 17 wins in a row, mm -hmm. and then uh, I think Platt took us out there. Um, that was when they, they beat us to go to state or whatever. But, um, yeah, I was just actually kind of counting that the other day just because you have to turn it in if you have 20 wins, which I knew I hadn't, but I was kind of curious to see how many we had gotten in the past. So we've come close a few times, but had never broken the 20 mark. If all goes well, and it's actually 15, I double-checked again, it's 15. <laughs> but state championship equates to 20 in a row. That would be nice. That would be nice. That's the goal. Take, that's the goal. Take one at a time. <laughs>